What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Yaroslav Gorbal, Thesion1111, Logan Wager, Grand Baron Ludwig, Jay, Rogelio, Richie, Yeetrance, Joshua Fix, Aaron Smart, Eric Phelps, Gino, Omar Bakhati, Salosi, Garp784, Adam Hart, Norian Chum, and Christopher Mitzcock. Thank you all very much for your support, and if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link below in the description to find out more. Thanks again. Yeah, uh, it's it, this was requested a while back. This is uh, another Internet Historian video called Very Serious Business. I have no idea what this is about. All I see are just like a bunch of... Uh, I saw like a... On the thumbnail, like a Takeshi 6 9 meme, where it was an uh, internet historian, you know, the old man that he uses as, like, his uh, avatar. He has, like, an old man face. Mm -hmm. When did this and, come out? Uh, most recent. It's the most recent one. It's like, two, like, a week or two it ago. It could be talking about Takeshi and, like, everything that's gone down like with him, that, Like him giving up everybody. It's like, it's like sorry, Takeshi, but that you still got 20 years on your sentence. Here's the, here's the stingray that kills Steve. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what my favorite one you sent me, Chad. What was that guy's name that, that ended up being British? Oh, uh... 21 Savage. Savage. Oi, not, mate. Y'all ever noticed 21 Savage got a British accent? <laughs> oh, crap. Damn. No. It, it's like, Ivanka Trump's still an illegal alien. Wait. <laughs> All right, uh, so. Damn. All right. So, Very Serious Business by Internet Historian. I have no idea what this is about. But we're about to find out, so let's uh, let's get it up on screen. This is serious business. Let's have us some fun. Here we go. Three, two, one. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Hmm. Business is important. Business is professional. Business is the engine in the car on the road that drives us forward to our journey. <laughs> there is no I in business. Wait, Welcome wait. to the seminar. Serious Business 101. First slide, please. It's August 6th, 2013, and we're at a conference in Nashville, <coughs> Tennessee. Agile 2013. What's Agile? Well, it's blah, 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 that bit's not terribly important. What matters is that this is a very professional environment. Keynotes, panels, networking. You're fascinating to talk to. And a quirky <laughs> little idea. Interactive display boards. Five of these oh, placed what? across the convention ground. That was fa uh, that was fake. Play boards. For real? Yeah, it just flashes up on the screen. Oh, it just yeah. tripped him out. It tripped yeah. him out big. He was just like, because it's, it's a shark. It's a shark oh. hitting the screen. I thought he Five like, of these punched it or something. That tripped me out. Too. No, no. <laughs> it, it was just it was just the the right. across the convention grounds, <clears throat> in lobbies, the cafeteria, gathering grounds, and there's a brilliant innovation to go with them. An automatic Twitter feed. Simply use the hashtag Agile2013 and your unmoderated message will appear on the board. Oh. It even displays images. Oh. What an amazing idea, you guys. And oh, people no. Were loving it. Giving feedback. Showing their pride. It was all going great. Until. For a whole 87 minutes. When one attendee had a very unprofessional idea. <laughs> he takes a photo of one of the displays and posts it to a certain message board with the following Oh, text. see, no. this is what I thought. I come to you in a time of great need. Five giant screens. <laughs> Ridiculous avatars, gore, and trap imagery would be much appreciated. Please, pretty please. Well, we'd better test this out. So people logged into Twitter, wrote something dumb with the hashtag Agile2013, and hit send. A minute oh, later, baby. a new photo comes up on the message board. Confirmation. <laughs> oh! So there was everyone enjoying the conference. Oh, when suddenly, no. we're in this convention where I find the Zimmerman themed butt plugs. <laughs> My dad <laughs> oh. big man talk with me. How do I make baby? I want baby. 
and from there it escalates. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it didn't take long for Agile organizers to notice. Agile Alliance does not approve of the misuse of the hashtag. And here was the fatal mistake. No, they thought, it's, it's, it's only like that. three trolls from Twitter. It's no problem. So they rallied right. their troops, telling them to fight back with the report spam function. Well, said B. If they want war, we'll give them war. <laughs> and honestly, you just threw down the gauntlet yeah, against 4chan. You're dead. Really reprehensible stuff on the timeline. you asshole! Horrific images. Oh! Ineffective against people making alt accounts. Wow! So with each passing minute, they were losing more ground. A couple of agile attendees stuck their heads up over the trenches and drew targeted fire. Looks like the feed is being spammed pretty badly. Maybe time to switch hashtags. I can't be the only one reporting all these people. Why doesn't Twitter make them go away? Lisa is giving free toss jobs at the main screens. Oh, oh my god. god. Blocking, but they keep coming up. Eventually, someone from B offered some useful advice. Have you tried getting the cyber police involved? How do I contact these cyber police? <laughs> <laughs> the cyber police never came. Report them. Stop them, cried one of the organizers. But it was no use. And soon he was targeted too. With his profile and personal pictures shopped into the oh, no. Then those shops were, of course, posted back onto the Agile oh. hashtag. Eventually, Agile had had enough. And they surrendered. Disabling the Agile 2013 hashtag. And that was the end. Oh, wow. Why is it? Because it turns out there was another functioning hashtag. Oh my Agile god. Agile 2. And once B figured that out, they took to destroying that as well. <laughs> and that really was the end of it. Oh. Or was it? Because B found the host's website. Oh. They went straight to the source, uploading oh. content directly to the displays. And that really, really was the end. The next day, the only thing on the displays was this message. We are working on shutting down the Eventifier site. We are reporting abusive accounts. We are also trying to find all other sources and shut them down as well. <coughs> I'm sorry. And that was the tragedy that befell the gay lord Ops. Very unprofessional, you guys. <laughs> Slide two, please. But first, airtime. Shadow Man here with Rage Shadow, Shadow Legends. Legends. Available now on iOS and Android. It's a totally free RPG PvP DVD for people with no, ADHD, Chicago, but don't take my word for it. Here's someone from IG. Yes, uh, look how many positive that's, reviews that's it has. Better, yeah. In fact, I bought another phone with my sponsorship money so I can so, like, do real Rage, Rage Shallow Leaves. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, Dozens like really of upgradable cool characters. Like Fleshed out storyline. Wait, I just. Realize this is my one opportunity to say bad stuff about Shroud. I've watched almost every one of his videos. He'll never hear it because he always skips my fucking ass. Wait, 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 wait. Red Shady Legends. But don't take my word for it. Here's someone from Qualcomm. Mom, I've been playing for two days straight. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Hey, wait. No, no, stop. Mom. <laughs> Look at this one. I use this champion because she has a massive co Are you playing a fucking console? Throw that in the trash, my dude. That's my dialysis machine. Your phone <laughs> is the only dialysis machine you need. Giant boss fights. <laughs> PvP okay. battles. Almost 10 million players. Are you playing yet? Get it with the code in the description and get 50k silver and a free epic champion. What a twist! There's also big plans to update the game. Here's a roadmap for the next six months. All right, get the game. I've been Shadow Man. Thank you. Shroud, Shroud, very... don't skip right, his right. ads. His ads are hilarious. Yeah, that was it's a funny business. shit. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. In January of 2012, they had a brilliant idea. Let us improve brand perception with Twitter. <laughs> Let us appeal to the common man with hashtag meet the farmers. A campaign that informs them that our meat only comes from local, independent producers. And not from, as the papers report, orphanages. So they published this promo. And I don't think I've ever gone to work a day in my life. <laughs> and 
Success. Hell yeah, lads. Another win as usual. People were loving it. Wow. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's from they Death Stranding, yeah. Of course. But overall, good stuff. So they swapped out this hashtag with a new one. McDee's Stories. And here's where things took a turn. They wanted the Twitter public to tell <laughs> their experiences at McDonald's. <clears throat> Obviously only good things ever happen at McDonald's. This is going to be a slam dunk. Let us shake hands in confidence at our imminent success. So McDee's Stories premiered on the Twitter yeah, homepage and... Yeah, look at that face, Within five minutes, it was clear that people weren't going to harp on about the time they got a free extra sauce with their McNuggets. Instead, they were going to tell McHorror stories. Here's just a select few. A McFingernail in my fries. A woman McSoliciting McSex in the drive through lane. I looked this one up, by the way, it's true. My friend claims that Ronald McDonald exposed himself to her as a child. Awful. McRats in the buns. Oh, yikes, this one's real, too. Go back there in the bun area. You're going to find at least three racks stop. that got droppers on them. Oh, God, make it stop. Someone stop it now. But it was gaining traction. More mm. and more people were publishing their negative stories on the hashtag. <laughs> and once they had used all those up, it progressed to just making up stuff for shock value. I ate McDonald's as a kid, and I'm pretty sure that's why my father left. Close to <laughs> Damn! I once saw... <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> but that'll make anyone grimace. Thank you, thank you. Within two hours, they pulled down Oil the advertising fire. campaign and in its stead, put up a far more innocuous little things hashtag. They had a few minor trolls there too, but oh, it quickly well, faded. Not having it oh. little things. The media jumped on the story, <laughs> case studies were written, and lessons were learned about not giving the public an in. Or were they? Ah, he's already dead. July 1st, 2016. Create your own custom burger on this McDonald's website. Oh. Meat patty, semen. Name your creation. Have it published on the website. <coughs> then vote oh. on the best one and it will become an official item on the menu. That's you not good. You knew where this was going to go. Oh. I knew where this was going to go. How did McDonald's not? <clears throat> A poem, if you will. Proceed. The sad European, a thin privilege to go. Bag of lettuce, no tissues, a Mein Kampf, just so. <laughs> the atheist delight, <laughs> the toddler body bag with double ketchup surprise. Pepe the sandwich, a little prolapse half baked. How my behind daddy comes with a shake. Girth, the Aryan, a vision of Christ. A whole pineapple with your meal for ten times the price. Oh. A tip for my lady. This one's gluten free. It's still not too late to vote for Bernie. <laughs> Whopper, no onions. Anatomical sandwich. Just, just grow up, you guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to shower off Ron's creamy surprise. Oh, oh my god. See this? This is you, you fucking clown. I mean. Yeah. Naturally, the press seized on it as much as the general public did, laughing at all the dumb sandwiches while also condemning them. Guys, come on, guys, this isn't funny, come on. The website was shut down and not much remains. Except for these. And also this text document I found, which has a bunch of other sandwich names. What ingredients were involved and what they look like, though, you'll have to use your imagination. Next slide, please. Prophylactics are serious business. Let us shake hands in both a fun and safe oh, manner. Oh, I see this one is ribbed for my pleasure. Early 2013, <laughs> Jurex launches a revolutionary new app. SOS condoms. Download, select the product, enter your location, and a condom will be delivered to you within an hour. Oh, perfect timing. Their emphasis was on discretion and anonymity when delivering the goods. And the delivery drivers were in disguise. Pizza delivery guy, police officer. I'm not sure that's legal. A gimmick to be sure. And some people thought it was an out of season April Fool's joke. But people tried it out and it really worked. So they rolled the service out over the tip of Dubai, of all places. But after its first week, the government shut it down, citing it as promoting promiscuity. 
booted out, they had a tough time deciding where to launch next. <clears throat> guys, guys, let's let the audience decide with another online poll. No. So people jumped on the website and started voting. I will be voting for a Krispy Kreme donut place. Tens of thousands of votes I've were counted, with some of the major Casey, contenders yeah, yeah. being Paris, Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, and London. From South Africa to move away from this. But all of them were outshined, with the most votes counted for Batman, a small conservative Muslim city in Turkey. Let that be an object lesson in the dangers of tampering with the laws of Mother Nature. The internet rejoiced. Another marketing campaign to add to the KD ratio. A Facebook post went out from SOS Condoms congratulating Batman and to stay tuned for more to come. But there was no more to come, so to speak. The campaign was promptly stopped. SOS Condoms never opened in Batman. SOS Bullshit. Condoms never opened anywhere ever again. They went silent for months. Everyone moved on. SOS Condoms deleted their account and slipped forever away <laughs> into obscurity. Bye, kitty. Pizza is serious business. <clears throat> yes, it is. DiGiorno does frozen pizza, and they have a substantial social media presence. No, Domestic violence DiGiorno. is bad. Bold statements only on this channel. Well, Twitter had a hashtag for National Domestic Violence Awareness Day. People were sharing their harrowing stories with the oh, hashtag, no. Why this I Stay. <laughs> These were all quite serious and dealt with some delicate and sensitive issues. <coughs> then here comes DiGiorno, throwing on the accelerator, no fucks given, driving right through the front door. They had pizza. Ooh. Oh. Hee hee hee, that was a great tweet. I bet everyone is loving it. Wait. Mm. Very slowly, that smile starts to fade. Precisely 0.1 seconds after they posted it, they must have realized it wasn't the wisest move. And they apologized, but the media got involved. Ooh. So they kept apologizing. I'm sorry. They couldn't I'm sorry. stop I'm apologizing. Sorry. I'm sorry. They just... I promise you never again. Kept I'm so sorry. At... It was terrible. They... I couldn't be more sorry. The... Please accept my deepest Dude, apologies. relax. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Naming your no. baby is serious business. <laughs> Put it to the internet, this Canadian couple said. Trust in the kindness and sensibility of strangers. It was Cthulhu Allspark. <laughs> <Next. laughs> do not oh, yeah. this. It's important it anyway. in print. It's essentially the proportional spacing between Hashtag fonts. Parent, Why does it matter? <laughs> well, sometimes two letters close to each other can look like a single letter, oh, for God's sake. Oh, Alright, no. stop. Let me finish up with a little bit of a behind-the-meme style history lesson. In the early 2010s, brands were only just finding their foothold in social media. They didn't quite understand how to connect with no, their audience. Awesome. The Best tendency was to be a bit overly formal, stuffy, not quite fun. That is until Denny's came along with a game-changing Tumblr account. They started actually having a good time, and it appealed to fellow Zoomers, such as myself. It took a little while, but soon other brands cottoned on to the strategy. Arby's started posting memes. Wendy's dropped a mixtape. Arby's stuff is badass. And then went into a WWE style feud back and forth with Burger King and McDonald's. <laughs> and Gen Zers, <coughs> such as myself, Wendy's destroyed lapped it up. How do you do, fellow kids? Wendy's now that's not to say they all Twitter. figured it out. Yeah. Other brands attempted it too, but without committing fully, they failed to get the same appeal. So into the late 20 teens, things were going pretty great. It was a little content renaissance. Chick-fil-A is officially America's favorite fast food restaurant. Imagine if we opened on Sundays. Had to give everyone else, like Wendy's, a chance to make money. Your mom is a hoe. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yes. Twitter. And the perfect response back to that. I told that. you, Wendy's no, is The perfect savage. response back to that is, of course, at Wendy's, no you. That's that's the, yes. that's always the other, response back. And I'd like to turn that into a full video soon. But with all these relatable memes floating around, people were starting to feel a little pandered to. <laughs> Very relatable. Nice. That's that's relatable. Yep, relatable. Hmm, relatable. 
Okay, everything's uh, getting so fucking relatable, it's actually kind of annoying. <clears throat> Guys, we get it. You're relatable. I just... It just stop relating. Stop. Stop. Enough. That's it. I can't take it anymore. Alright. Silence, brand. And so a new meme was born. The spider crab with laser eyes, aerial font 32 point, white on black bar background, no shadow of text. Silence, comma, brand. And it was a very powerful tool. Eminem's pushing something or other. Take that brand. Hey fellow Gen Zers, silence brand. And it became a long and enduring meme. OMG, I feel that. That is such a mood. Relatable AF. Silence. Sometimes a few brands could crack through it. Silence Twitter. But for the most part, this crab has become the quality control of Twitter. An apex predator shutting down lesser brands. God bless it. Alright, it's time to stop. That's enough business for today. Thank you for attending my seminar. Here are the patrons. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love Mwah. Mwah. See you at movie night. Mwah. Also, uh, <laughs> I have other videos on the second channel. Sonic cried a little, what? and Tails put his hand on his face to catch the tears. No, the chef should have box. dipped some on his finger. No, the fox that was beside <laughs> Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> the spark, of course, I know that Sonic. <laughs> no. And also, Shadow Raid Legions on the Nintendo GameCube. It's actually really fun to play while you're watching telly and doing stuff. Use the link. <laughs> Jesus sake. I wonder if he keeps his sponsorships after he advertises ones like that. I have, no <laughs> I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Your mom, a ho. <laughs> what was that claymation George Clooney Fox movie? Oh, the Fantastic Mr. Fox. That's what that was, right? I think so. Let, let's go the back. The crack and look fox at is more too. fucked up than that. Oh God, is it? I think it's crack fox from the Mighty Boosh. Maybe. Anyway, <clears throat> holy shit! And there's the big fat. Sonic character Amy. in the back. Yeah, that's Amy. I've never seen that version. That's 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 Chili Dog. I think that's Chili Dog Amy. Uh, yeah, she's munching down on a Chili Dog. You know, Sonic does. He's propelled by gas. That's what makes him so fast because he's constantly throwing down Chili Dogs. Yeah, but he doesn't get that fat because he does cardio. All the time, right. So. Yeah. He's got it figured out, man. <clears throat> if we all just like propelled ourselves with farts and ate Chili Dogs. I'd be able to reach the moon. We'd be getting places. Oh hell yeah, I, I'd yeah I'd be getting places all right. Yeah, I'd be getting like ejected from every friggin' place I went to because they'd find the source, and I'd just be like, I'm li It's like it's like I'm like I'm sorry, I can't help it, and they're like, we're gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. But I can't help myself. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Propel like Dave Chappelle in the slow motion poop. <laughs> just go flying <laughs> off the toilet. I can imagine instance, eating chili dog all the time. That no, cool. Sonic's life, bro. That's why he's a <laughs> no, hero. No, it takes a hero to do that. Oh, the that, internet that ganged up on him, too. Oh, yeah. That one right Get there got assassinated by the internet. Well, it deserved it. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at him, man. Well, you see, most of these are just like companies trying to do something that, you know, trying to reach the internet audience. And there's masters of it, like Wendy's. Wendy's Twitter. Because Wendy's don't try to be professional with it. They no, just, they're, they're you know, real. They're that, real with That's people. why people like it. <laughs> For a long time, it was really cool on Arby's, but I do, I do kind of agree with him because I've gotten to the point where like I'm, I see their stuff and I'm just like, I don't care unless it's just something related to something like I really like. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah but like whenever... Uh, Dark Souls 3 came out. Arby's posted a fucking little bonfire they had built out of like RV stuff. And I was just like, fuck yeah. I was like, I'm still not going to eat there because their shit's too expensive. But that's fucking cool. <laughs> uh, but so I just spent all my money on Dark Souls 3 and various uh, merch related to it. So sorry, I can't afford a uh, freaking roast beef sandwich right now. Yeah, me, I, <laughs> I, for, for me, the, the one that got me was, uh, I think it was. When uh, 4chan got a hold of the naming of Mountain Dew. Oh, no. Oh, no. A new flavor of Mountain Dew coming out. Yeah. And uh, there, I think there was one. Shrek uh, Piss. 
That was actually on there, I think. I'm sure. Uh, but there was one that was just like Granny's runoff. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, Lord. But there was okay. Oh, they okay. Should've, they should have had like a Ben Shapiro sponsored one, and it's like liberal tears and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be, that'd be awful. Oh, but, uh, but uh, let me see if it's still on here. Uh Let's see. There was one. It was literally this guy. Yeah, here it is. Name my daughter. This Got guy it. put a poll no. up. Three different names. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, from the internet box. This is, like, 2012, dude. This is a while ago. Uh, this is, a uh, like, some of my favorite that stuff. That would be horrible. Just be like, oh, where do you, well, how'd you decide to name me that? Oh, yeah, I'll let the well, internet vote on it. Please. Yeah, this, <laughs> so here's, so here it is right here. This is. Yeah, there's this website that I found. Um, this dude is having a kid. He's right. having a daughter. And he put up this website where you can vote on what to name his daughter. Oh, well, that's, that's a bad that's, idea. That's, that's a, terrible. So, that's a trait of a great parent. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely not voting. I, don't, I'm I still have a right little now. bit of a conscience left. It's, it's I'm little, looking at this thing there. right now, and I mean, like, <laughs> I'd say 90% are real names. Like, the second one is Amelia, and the second middle name is May. But the, <laughs> the 11th... Name for the first name is Street Lamp. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth Good one God. is of the sea. So can you imagine Street Lamp of the sea like Jones? <laughs> <laughs> what the I'm fuck? telling you, we could get this girl's middle name to be Ladasha. Mike, stop. Jesus Just Christ! Stop, I said Laquisha as a joke, and that's the fourteenth top first name. <laughs> Oh my God! There's a lat. There's a middle name. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Dude, what's I would. Up? This is my daughter, Megatron. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this girl's gonna kill herself in like three. Why? Why do you? Why She's do gonna you choke to herself like... on her own rattle. It's like I want my kid. I want my kid to know without a question of a doubt that I hated her before she was born. <laughs> I, I put her name up to the internet, God and damn, they decided. Dude. Can you imagine that talk? What are these when she's people live? Like, yeah, the talk's gonna come be from, like, Dad. The talk's gonna be like, Dad, I I understand you did what you had to. How much did you get paid for? It? And he'll be like, Nothing. <laughs> I did it all for the glory, Megatron. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's that's old. Like Internet Box, they have they they shut down their podcast. I think 2014, 2015. Wow, it's been a while ago. But they were actually like one of my favorite podcasts to watch for a long time because it was. It actually formed out of the Rooster Teeth community, like a bunch of people who were like fans of Red versus Blue and yeah. shit like that. And then, uh, and then, like all of them came together and did, uh, and just like started like getting on like Google Chat and just recording it and making a podcast. Hmm. And now the and the majority of the people who started that podcast, like seven out of the like the first ten people who were on it, all went to work for Rooster Teeth at one point. You know, some have left since then, but at the same time. Uh, you know, it just goes to show you that they, you know, that they had a lot of, uh, oh. Okay. Sorry, that was some, that was something else. Sorry. Uh, been waiting on that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't imagine, like, all of a sudden, well, okay. Say we get really big and popular in the future, and people start, like, we have our Discord and everything. <clears throat> Imagine like fans of ours starting a podcast separate from ours, and it actually becoming more popular than our podcast that we actually have now. Damn. I mean, it, I mean, that's sort of what happened with the internet box because the internet box at one point was more popular than like Rooster Teeth's actual podcast, yeah. and then Rooster Teeth went full video with it with like big production value, and then it passed it right back up. But still, for a while, their internet box was actually had. Had was like more well known. Yeah. yeah. And, wow. And back on back on the subject of uh you know bad naming convention like the the I'm glad that whenever we give uh give out the the video games that we get that we're that we want audiences to vote on to play I'm glad we don't give them like an open option. Oh yeah, to just because, top whatever. Yeah, because all of a sudden we're just gonna get like Barbie's like Pony Adventure. Uh, the PC edition that has to run on like a Windows XP machine, and it's just or gonna... just like go fuck yourself, like ah, oh, 
Thanks, guys. Thanks. Glad y'all voted channel. for that. No, because we, we have, like, a game request channel, and people were, like, actually in our Discord. I'm going to say this, and then it's going to start something, but... <laughs> Woo! People actually legitimately request real games most uh, of the time. Well, yeah, yeah. We so. have we have a fairly, a fairly like, grounded, down-to-earth uh, crew on our Discord. I mean, yeah. you know... It's not the whole internet. No. The whole internet? No. I'm scared of the whole internet. Yeah, I'm scared of 4chan. Do. 4chan, dude. It's a terrifying they can, force. Yeah, they... Oh, yeah. I mean, hell, you want the terrorists to surrender? Sick 4chan on them. Yeah. 4chan will make them tap out before they even have a chance to know what's going on. <laughs> but, God. Well, I, I'm the kind of person that if 4chan started, like, fucking with us, I would be like, how can I help you guys to make this even funnier than it already yeah. is? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know, how, I I don't know why they'd want to fuck with us because... <laughs> I don't know why they'd want to fuck with us because, honestly, I, I what could they gain? What could they gain outside of just... Uh, don't don't ask. You don't want to know. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, God. All I know is that I don't know nothing. You you make the bad assumption of assuming that they do any of this for personal gain. Yeah. I think some people just want to watch the world burn. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this scary thought has been brought to you by... Uh, the Renegades, uh, hopefully uh, you will see us again. If not, then... We officially uh, just turned this into a Rocktober video because it got spooky. Oh, <laughs> got a little spooky. So if you all uh, want to see that, uh, if you want to see more from Internet Historian, feel free to click the link down below in the description. Uh, take you to his channel where the man has a multitude of videos and then he's also got his Incognito channel where he does like more deeper in-depth discussions and shit like that. If you want to see more from us... We have a subscribe button, and we got a bell that you can ring to stay notified. And uh, until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. I'm Chad. And I'm Jacob. And we will see you all in the next one.